What is up all you savages? We are back with another channel and we got more boxes from LMR because I am going nuts with ordering parts. I'm getting more excited on putting my car together. And um, huge shout out to the fans and the followers right now. Um, I actually got one of my first comments or one of my first few comments actually towards the car um, on the channel this last night and uh, I was super excited about that. So heck yeah guys, so let's get into this. So as you guys can see, I have an addiction. I have an addiction, I can't stop ordering parts. Uh, it's so exciting guys, it's so exciting. This is big, I actually, I actually opened up the wallet and actually spent some money this last week and uh, we're about to get into another unboxing video. But before we get into this, I do wanna let you guys know, I made an adjustment to the title on the channel. So I never really realized this because I was trying to show my friend Alan the channel um, last week and I noticed I was having a hard time finding my YouTube channel. I'm like, why is it not coming up? And it's because I was Savage2 underscore Valve, which is like the Instagram name, which I don't know why I thought two and two together. But it, I guess it doesn't really work out that easily on YouTube. You know, I'm doing this and I'm learning. But, so I made an adjustment. The YouTube channel name is now Savage, the number two, space valve. And it's actually Savage, space, number two, the number two, space, valve, TV. And that's how you find me now. So hopefully it's easier and we can actually get some more subscribers to the channel. Um, but enough of that ranting. Let's get into this. So I uh, I pulled the trigger and I ordered some pretty cool stuff from LMR for the car. I'm actually going to be going over to the shop here a little later today because I do want to start getting some work done on the car. we got some space over there now. The weather's coming around. I'm getting over this cold. I'm feeling a lot better. And I'm just feeling good, guys. We're doing good here. So... In this first box, and there they are. This right here, oh, this box is heavy. Well, I'm excited about this. These weren't cheap, because I got the good kinds. I got the, the $8 bag. I can't believe you just did that. Those are the good coin, eight bucks. I'm not joking. But. What we got here is a hood strut kit. And it's actually a good quality kit. So um, I can't remember which one is this one called. I bought it off of the LMR site. This is actually the non rivet kit. So it's all bolt together, right hand, left hand. Okay, cool. So this is just a bolt together kit. These plates bolt to the hood and then the struts set up on it. And then, yeah, so there's no actually like drilling and riveting to the hood, which is nice because I don't want to cause any damage to that Cobra hood because in the future, when we do do the, um, the, uh, the tech skid build, when I do the turbo build for that car, I'm going to be changing the intake setup and everything for that build. So, Basically, what's going to happen is, is if the engine doesn't clear with the stock over hood, when we do those changes, hopefully in the next year, we are going to have to probably go away from the Cobra hood. But for now, we're going to rock the Cobra hood. And this hood strut kit is going to make things very nice. Nice little appearance mod, as well as it's nice getting rid of that hood prop and not having to use it. I don't really know why Ford didn't put gas shocks on the hoods to begin with. It's just so much nicer. The funny thing is, is um, my dad's 2012 Shelby, when he bought it brand new, came with a hood prop. That's one of the first things I bought him for that car. And uh, it just, it really makes a nice appearance. And it's one of those things I'm really kind of surprised that Ford didn't do. But this was about 100 bucks, LMR. I think it was a little more than 100 bucks. It's a really nice quality kit. 
Um, we'll do an installation video. Once we start actually getting the car together and we start putting stuff on the car, there's gonna be a lot more content with the car. I'm probably gonna roll the car in the shop today, get a little more content with that. But let's just keep going into this unboxing video and then uh, we'll go from there as far as what we're gonna do today, guys. So <clears throat> I'm gonna stop talking and this was an expensive one too. I bought an SDT tuner for the car and I'm really excited about this because I had an SDT tuner before with my old truck before I had a YouTube channel that is actually now my buddy Brian's Mach 1. This one, however, I did a little bit of reading into it, is really sick because this is the wireless one that you just hook the transmitter up to your OBD2 uh, port for the Fords and you get the app on your phone and you can do everything wirelessly as far as tunes and customability. And the other really nice thing about this kit as far as updates, being as it's via Wi-Fi device, it automatically gets updated. And then also if there's ever any custom tunes I wanna do with SCT in the future or any other like dyno shops, it's a lot more easier to access and store and build that information and load it to the tune in the car. So this is gonna be sick. Um, this is gonna go a long ways for me before I actually max out my stock ECU compatibility when we do the turbo build. But now, the big box. So, as you guys can see, if I can get a better view here. That's not upside down, but that's SVE. Anybody knows SVE is a LMR wheel, but which wheels did I get? So. Ooh, guys, this is so exciting. This is, they literally showed up in the mail yesterday. I had a late night yesterday, so I got home kind of late. But uh, I saw that these arrived and I was so stoked. I wanted to open them up last night, but I was like, no, Evan, you have a YouTube channel to work on. So we're doing an unboxing video and that way I could kind of save this for myself too. Oh, God, this is so exciting. It's like Christmas all over again. Coming to town. Santa! Oh my God! All right. So we'll open this front one up first. So as you guys can see, that's a pretty skinny box. So I did go with the fatty skinny setup because the goal of the car is gonna be a street strip car. And they're just gonna look amazing. So stoked. This is really exciting. Oh, come on. And I opened it backwards. Oh yeah. That is nice. I've never actually seen these wheels in person, like in my hands. I'm used to whole shot wheels and weld wheels. They're a little heavy for what I'm used to. Usually I, I, I usually deal with uh, billet wheels with our drag cars. That's, that's a little heavy, but it's pretty gnarly. It's actually a really good durable wheel for street use that's for sure because billet wheels aren't good for street driving but oh boy Ugh. come on Evan come on Evan it's just a wheel don't scratch it Evan oh yeah I really like how well they package these SVEs yo those are sick. Those are really sick. These are gonna look fire on my car, especially when I respray it black. Oh my God, guys. Wow. I've never felt or looked at one of these wheels in person before. I've seen them in pictures and I've seen them on cars, but they actually have it and feel it. This is a, this is a gnarly wheel. This thing's pretty heavy. Um, so this is gonna be a tent wheel setup for the car until I get a little more crazy with the build. Um, I, I really want whole shots, but I got such a good deal on these through LMR 
I couldn't pass it up because the wheel, the wheel combo I really want from the car from a company called Whole Shot in Florida is going to be about two grand because they're billet aluminum wheels and I want to run a beadlock and stuff. But as far as the wheel setup goes for now, these are going to look great on the car as a driver, drive it around, enjoy it. And they're nice. They're heavy, which I'm not too, too mad about, which means, you know, they're a good, strong wheel for street driving for sure, which is going to work out great for me, but that's awesome. So um, I really, <laughs> as exciting as it is to see this front wheel, I really want to see this rear wheel now. So let's set that there. And set that over there. Set this here. Um, yeah. uh, I thought that was exciting. I'm really excited to see this rear wheel now. It's because I want to see the lip and the, the offset that they do. Because I think these are six and a half backspacing that they do for the new edges. Because the new edges have a wider rear end in them than the other cars. Oh, interesting. They're not very deep. But they say these are the wheel. Then again, they do have that backing in them that they put in. So, oh my God, yes. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, definitely a good street wheel for sure. That's the rear. Um, it's got a fairly nice lip. So one of the reasons why I went with Chrome guys is again, because they're gonna be on a black car and honestly, vice versa, they're an easier wheel to sell if I ever decide to get rid of them because they could always be powder coated. But Chrome wheels really look good on pretty much just about any car really. And if you're not for the Chrome look, you could powder coat them, you could um, dip them. You know, there's all kinds of different things you can do, but God dang. So this is the one thing that I put in consideration when they have such a deep offset. Well, that's weird. That just must be from where they hung it when they dipped it because these are all chrome. That's nice. So for a lot of those who don't know, Brian, DSG Mach 1, because I was actually having an argument with him about this last night. These wheels are fitted with this extension in the back to clear the calipers on the Mustangs. So they actually work from 99 to like 2014. Um, I think the 15s and up need a bigger wheel for brake caliper clearance. But yeah, these wheels stock, um, fit stock Brembo's GT and the bigger brakes like on the Mach 1s and the Cobras. So that's what's really nice about these cars and Brian, they will fit. Trust me, you don't need to mock them up on your car. They're mine, mine. But anyways, super stoked, guys. That's really awesome. So I got to kind of, well, clean up this mess real quick. Um, I got a couple of things I got to do this morning, a couple errands to run, but um, we're going to pick this up and uh, we'll probably meet you guys back up at the shop here in a little bit. But yeah, I want to get this on boxing out of the way. Super exciting, super stoked. Wow. I wasn't imagining these wheels to be this expen this this heavy. Um, but for a street set, they're durable, which is good. So as far as optimum performance for a straight line, meh. They do the job. But as far as weight goes, they're a little heavy. But that's fine. They'll work for now until we can actually afford the whole shots later on, but it's nice, it's nice. So, we'll see you guys later. What is up guys? So, it's actually uh, almost a week later. It's Saturday evening over here in the AV. Um, I forgot to film an outro. Well, I had an outro, and for some reason I was having loading issues with my software, so, 
I'm now filming a new outro so we could wrap this thing up. So, to start off this outro, damn it. I forgot to order freaking lug nuts. Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh! So yeah, anyways, um, apparently SVE has a specific lug nut for their wheels with a specific offset washer that they don't include with their wheels, which I found out about when I went through and inspected the wheels and found no lug nuts. And I kind of figured, oh, I have connections. I have lug nuts at the shop. No, it has to be SVE's stupid shank offset washers that I need. LMR sells a kit for 65 bucks. I'm a little upset about that, that I gotta spend more money now. Plus, I still gotta order tires. And also, I spent money this week on things like new mid pipes and stuff. Surprise coming soon. Um, but anyways, um, so yeah, I was also gonna give you guys a heads up about tires. Um, what we're doing is I'm actually just gonna order a set of cheap front runners for now. And as far as rears go, I really want to run the Mickey Thompson uh, SS Street Radials or the SS Drag Radial. It's basically a street radial drag radial that I want to run on the car in a 27560. However, um, being cheap about that too right now, I have a friend that races extreme drag radial and he's got a couple of throwaway sets off of his drag car that I am going to get off of him. So I'm going to get at least one of those sets so I got something to mock up on the car. But... I'm not going to be able to mock them up until I order lug nuts, which I have to do this week. But I went and spent my money on mid pipes, which is going to be in the next video. But um, other than that, guys, yeah. Again, guys, I really hope you dig the content. I really hope you guys like the direction we're going with the build. Um, if you guys want to see more, like, subscribe, follow the channel. It's easy. Comment. I like comments. Like I said, I got a comment about the car. Loved it. it. Made me really excited and more motivated to do more videos. So, um, understand <clears throat> we're putting this one out a little later than I would anticipated on. The video is probably already on YouTube. Um, ugh. The picture of the wheels are probably already on Instagram is what I was trying to say. But now we're going to put the video out on YouTube and so you guys can see the details. Also, anybody watching my child that ugh, my channel, I can't even talk right now. What's wrong with me? Um, so anybody, any blah, blah blah blah. Anyways, so for those of you watching my channel that also follow Boosted Lifestyle, that little skit that was in mine, I almost had that released before his channel. So dumb. I I I feel like I try to do things to be cool. And cooler YouTubers do like things to do the same thing that I'm going to do to be cool before, after I was going to do cool things, but beat me to it. Sad face. Anyways, guys, I love it. I love you guys. Stay savages and we will see you in the next video.